Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're new. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Taurus, it is time to do your love energy check-in for around the end-ish of January of 2024, or whenever you clicked on this reading to decide and come and hang out with me. It's just the energy we're going to pull on, and I do appreciate you for being here and being a part of this. If you could return some of the love for me, please, and love the like down here to help get us out in the algorithm and help the familia to grow. Also, share the channel, share the video here. Let's just heal everybody. It's the thing we do. It's a genre. All right? I appreciate you for all of it, too, very much so. Also, subscribe and set the bell down here. I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an All Signs, of which the most recent one from last Wednesday here coming up on the 17th is posted down below in the description in the comments for you to go and page the stories and check out all your placements, too. All right? We are going to look while you're here at all the things on yours and their side of the energetical fence. While you're here, feel free to page the swords all over my channel as much as you like. I got playlists all over there for you. You've got my collabs and meet and greets, what it's like when Archer comes to your town. And then you've got some healing music base covers. You've got pick a card readings, everything neatly prioritized and organized for your viewing enjoyment. So just come and hang out with me. I got you. And of course, all these messages are for your highest. We don't even got to say the highest grade. Good stuff here. You are ultimately and definitely protected here. I'm your crystals. I got you. All right, Taurus. All right. So let's do it to it. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Instagram too. I appreciate you for all of it. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com. All right, let's see what we got for you. All, everything's down in the description in the comments. It's typically YouTube stuff. We got you. We got this. We're going to do ooh, the Five of Cups to the Ace of Wands. Well, you really missed somebody. You missed like the really good times with somebody too, Ace of Wands. So much so that you're like, yeah, let's do this, Archer. We're ready. I'm bummed. You got, you got a little ick. Feeling a little ick. Feeling like something might have set you back. I'm picking up Doubting Thomas showing up again. All right. Something might might a little unsure about, but you really like him. Maybe that's why you're a little unsure. Like you're having a little bit of those like like spaghetti leg feelings about him. All right. Let's find out. So I'm going to get your motor running. Chariot energy. Let's do it. Two shuffles. The moon to the knight of wands to the ten of cups. When I said, when I said something, get your motor running, Taurus. This is what you felt and it popped out. Ten of Cups with a star card. You're guided to them. That's why you're feeling that way. Let's do it. We Okay, we totally got to find out. We're going to do nine cards on the table with the Millennial Tarot. Tenth card outcome at the bottom. Then I'm going to grab the Titanic Tarot, throw a boatload of clarifiers all over the thing. I have files on all 2,200 passengers of this boat. Doesn't everybody? So there's a lot of stories here. There's a lot. We're going to get deep. We're going to go OG Snoop Dogg on this one, all right? So let's do it for you, Taurus. Here we go. Two shuffles for you. Where We are ready. Let's pearl this reading. Let's do it. One and two. Let's love this deck for the terrific Torians. Toro, Toro. Bottom of the deck is a five of wands. Leo energy. And frenemies. Overcoming the strifes and the struggles of frenemies type of a situation where you guys feel like you're you're like each other's worst enemies. Then you overcome all that and you treat teamwork, come together, and make the dream work on this one. It's like the five of swords, but on a swords it's like the five of wands over here where they're working to cut lifeboat number 13 off the titanic and everybody had to work together and find a knife it's in the movie to make the dream work so that's what you're manifesting out of this when i pull cards like this as an outcome or even an, an inner emotions as we're going forward it shows me blockages or or what what energies will still come in in the future to try and test you and your connection that you'll have to work to overcome which you shall king of pentacles because you're the freaking big daddy on this one here sitting at your Ten of Pentacles table with the Seven of Swords. You're working on healing with the Hierophant. That's your energy to the Wheel of Fortune, to the Ace of Pentacles. See, literally what I was just saying, you overcome the energies when tests can come in and the Wheel of Fortune spins in your favor, Taurus. Something about online comes in too. All right, let's see what we got here because you will be tested in the future, but for some reason, you pick them. You pick them because it works. You pick them every time. Interesting. All right, what's your present energy? It's the Tower. You have been through a lot. Dumpster fire. I see that that TikTok of a dumpster fire, the, the dumpster rolling, floating in the water on this one here. This is like the Hindenburg on the Titanic during a hurricane going through. You've been through a lot. This is kind of interesting. And all of a sudden the water. Now I'm seeing potatoes and water. Like deep frying a turkey or like if water gets into frying oil and it bubbles over type of a thing. Or that. Were you one of them Irish folk? 
that came over on the potato boats and wanted to go to Idaho? Taurus, are you making an Idaho joke towards me? I'm Archer. I am not the hoe. Is it? Taurus, you got jokes today. Oh, this is cool. You're perking me up. This is bubbly. And even in the worst of times, you're trying to make the best of every situation you've got here. It's like you're try you try to change, reinvent, lemons into lemonade. You are transmuting negative energy into positivity. Somebody in your life, you make them smile. People might even come to you like, Taurus, you're always so positive. You always perk me up when I'm feeling down. You help people through their dumpster fires. All right. Knight of Swords, see, the protest organizer, your immediate influence. You might have a lot of people mention that to you here. Like, maybe you, in a dumpster fire, actually allowed you for an awakening. You're going from, like, Beyonce to Sasha Fierce and coming out on it, and people like that about you. You're organizing thoughts. You're getting people together. The Knight of Swords is freaking Maverick showing up with Goose and Rooster flying past that tower, and then the air trap troll get coffee down on him right there. So you're manifesting, and you're coming together. Your thoughts are organizing. You're putting all these parts, prioritizing and organizing the thoughts to manifest, okay? You could be a manifesting generator, possibly. Also, possibly, you could be a magician. Look into it. If you've done that MBTI element of Batman symbol freaking test online, Google some tests and do them, because you can find out a lot about you. Your goal or destiny is the sun. Leo energy. Do you have some strong Leo in your chart somewhere? Somewhere, maybe even in the back 40 or something, there's some Leo placements in this here. But you've got some popularity coming out of this. You're feeling more positive. You're actually transmuting it. Even if you're in your worst energies and feeling all bummed out and sad, you rise above it. You organize your thoughts and you, you come out positive. Your outcome is, is positivity with the sun. Maybe even something popular or social media wise or just people really enjoy you for what you post. Maybe you share memes that just make people really happy. That energy will karmically, rewardingly come back to you and you're going to just wind up having to be happy. It's a thing. All right. Let's take a look at their side. What's going on over here? They're in the star. They're healing. Aquarius energy could be an Aquarius. Aquarius is basically in all signs. They're just pulling energy from all friggin' 11 of us. Everybody's there. So they're working hard on some stuff too in here. And they're awoke to the connection. They're awoke to your connection. Aquarius, Leo energy strong on this one. Scorpio and Aries too. Also got some Gemini showing up with Libra and Aquarius too at the moment. All right, but they're having some healing. The immediate energy around them is the moon. We got the moon here. Cancer, Pisces. Also some Virgo energy I'm feeling off of it. Part of the ghost. Things have been quiet. Too quiet. Too quiet, Archer. Things the, the, in, in the silence, in the evenings, they're up at night. They're manifesting and working on this. They're, there's being awoke to the connection. There's a lot in the evening. Maybe like like you guys are on opposing, like one of y'all is, is like you're the day, and you got a night owl and a day bird. You know what I mean? Like one of y'all is the morning person. One of you guys not so much in the morning. Don't talk to them until they have their coffee. And the other one's the evening person. Well, one of y'all is like, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. The other one's like, no, we're going to have some fun. All right, so you guys are you guys are on an alternating cycle that you're learning to work with here too, okay? And learning how to make each other like an equal priority, okay? Balancing the emotions. That takes us when we add your five, three cards, so they're two cards. Three plus two equals the outcome. Six of swords. Reflecting back and floating away from the energies of the past. The influence on the connection is to clear the mindsets. Six of swords. Reflect back so you guys come together clear-headed, minded. You know, take five and come back into this clear. A little time was needed. Maybe you were then planned or there is a getaway in the planning, like you guys have just a couple's date or a couple's weekend, or just one of those things where you guys just put your phones in airplane mode and everybody thinks you're away on vacation, you're just hanging out watching Netflix or something. It's like a staycation, something like that to come together onto it. All right. So going forward, what is the outcome of this to work together? This is this is the constant test that'll come in, moon cards, dumpster fires. Then you got your positive energies, the sun and the star. So you guys keep transmuting the energies to come together for teamwork to make the dream work. <clears throat> going forward. We have the lovers. And this came out in the inner emotions for Aries, Gemini energy. So possibly your incoming energy, the Aries Taurus connection is going on still too. You guys are hanging out because in your incoming energy, it was the inner emotions for Aries on their side. So it could be possibly you or they might have strong Aries in your chart or the straight up ever classical. You're dealing with an Aries. Careful with that one, Archer. It's an antique. No, we're fine though. All right. The world told you we're fine. We're bougie with a boozy brunch coming in here. The environmental factors around you guys going forward is the world, one of the happiest positive cards in the deck right there coming out. This is like getting together for a little brunch, hanging out, just doing something on your own, having some pancakes, little crepes and some mimosas, talking about some stuff and putting it together. You got the freaking world in the outcome. The environmental factors are showing you the time is right for this to come together to a point of completion. You told you you guys knew you'd pick each other. You guys do it every freaking time. I'm seeing multiple lifetimes out of you too. All right, just letting you know that. 
five or six lifetimes so far. You're either on you're either on go round number five or go round number six. All right. What's the inner emotions? Queen of Wands. Leo energy. Your connection. You guys are spiritual baddies in this one here. Going the freaking distance. Leo energy coming into it for the third time's the charm. I love the Titanic deck for that because it explains Violet Jessup, who survived all three of the Olympic class ships. So this is coming in for it to go around time. There's a reason for sayings like that. Third time's term. There's a reason. All right. The rules of three do apply. You or them could be born on the 19th, also the 21st. I'm seeing the 7th, the 17th, as well as the 14th, too. Also the 13th and the 23rd. All right, Spirit. Give me everything you got. You also got Aries and Scorpio. We'll mention that. Aries, definitely. How could Aries not be here? Aries is never far behind. And then you got Gemini. You got the world cards. Literally, could be any sign. Could be any sign. Strong Leo. Also Aquarius. Honorable mentions to Scorpio, I'm being told, and Aries, too. All right. Leo, if I didn't bring him up. Here we go. All right. Give me cards on the dumpster fire. The tower. Oh, my God. I'm going to start calling that the dumpster fire card. Oh, boy. I, it's happening. I smell a new archerism approaching. I also smell Creel, too. Oh, I love Creel. Oh, my God. It makes everything better. I don't want pork chops. Knight of Swords to the Sun card. Leo, Aries, Scorpio, and somebody else. Aquarius. Oh, my God. I kid you not. Taurus, this is why I love reading for you. Look what came out. I manifested this, and you saw me doing it. Queen of Wands. Violet Jessup. Right on top of this here. It's also your inner emotions. That's that's the beat goes on, ba da doom, ba on da da. Right there. Violet Jessup survived sailing on the Olympic when it was a brand new boat, still had new boat smell. Maybe smells are really affecting you right now, Taurus, because I'm smelling like everything right now. And but she survived that accident. Then she was on the Titanic when an iceberg jumped out in front of it. She survived that accident. Then she hopped on the Britannic when it got Lusitania during World War One. She survived it. But after she, after she got off Britannic, she went off retired and, and had a really great old old long-term life. You're manifesting just like I manifested the Queen of Wands. And I'm like, oh, the Queen of Wands comes out. Rewind if you missed it because that was freaking cool. Yeah, that was this. Just like what you're manifesting and getting. Straight up, Six of Wands, victory. Caitlin Petty doing a freaking sellout performance of like everything Taylor Swift size crowds and then getting a freaking country music award afterwards just being like, oh, I did that. Yeah, you did this. You're manifesting. You're in a positive energy even if you're not feeling it. Nine of Swords. Oh, so you're not feeling it. You're up. Oh, you're just playing staring on the ceiling on repeat. I got you. We'll work through it. Six of Swords. Oh my God, the Six of Swords on repeat. <clears throat> Any number six, six. June 6th could be a date that actually resonates to you. Also the seventh too, Taurus. But also here, Queen of Wands, Nine of Swords. It's the silence. This here, the Nine of Swords, the silence is what's kind of stressing you out here. That's letting you rise above it here. Because like you, you totally take everybody's French fries, don't you? Why am I back on the food kick for you? Nine of Swords, you're like, yeah, this is the energy like you are. I'm talking to a Taurus that's like, oh, I'm not hungry. Like you'll tell you'll tell you'll tell the one on your mind. You'll tell anybody. You'll tell people oh, I'm not hungry. I'm fine. I'm good. But then like you're the one that steals half the French fries at dinner. And if they bring ranch, forget about it. Right. That's what I'm seeing. Guys, guys, cross watchers or either way around. Guys, this is a heads up because guys know this. We see this coming. That's why guys will actually just whatever, whatever, whatever your person orders all the time. You just you just grab it by default. Guys do that stuff. All right. Because whenever, whenever, and I'm also seeing a Taurus that uses the I'm hungry text as a way of starting date nights. Instead of being like, would you take me out to dinner? Just like, I'm hungry. Something like that comes in. All right. But whatever it is here, the, the, that's like the clue to it. Like maybe I'm talking to a Taurus that like you always, like there's always extra dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets around and ranch dressing. All right. There's, and that's, that's totally cool. That's totally cool. The Six of Swords. It, it, it's planning ahead for, for what you already know. Your intuition, like heightening and strengthening and like gaining cat light reflexes out of the situation here. All right. And I'm, t I'm seeing a Taurus with this seer card too, that you, you right there, like I'm seeing it, guys do this too. So it's totally fine. I've done it. Guys do this too, where like you put the guy's last name with the girl's first name, just to see how it looks and see how it fits. All right. Any guy trying to be Johnny Badass and being like, I don't do that stuff. They're lying. We guys totally do that when we when we're like a girl. All right. But I see something like that. Something about the notebook says you like you're seeing how everything fits. It's really cool. It's like it's like I'm hearing how Paul McCartney wrote Hey Jude, how he talks about how it really started out as Hey Jules for John Lennon's son Julian. But Hey Jules was kind of like a mouthful to say. It would like fumble the words a little bit. So he just he just went Hey Jude and it worked better. And it was there. So that's what it is. You're just finding something that 
fits better about it, okay? There could be something very unique or interesting about you guys, Knight of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands, where maybe like it's a same-sex relationship, or you guys just have like a deeper, you don't follow societal norms. Maybe it's just like a deeper esoterical understanding or something on that one here. But your 5D selves already chose you guys. Six of Swords squared. You're, 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 rewind. Slow down. There's a speed setting up here. Let's fix that. <laughs> Gear wheel. Six of Swords here. Your 5D selves chose each other. Like way back when you guys were with Dr. Michael Isaac Newton. Freaking Dolores Cannon style. Planning out your guys' future. And what was going to happen when you guys met up in this lifetime here. You guys were brought into each other's energies here. To, to override like... The bullying and the negativity, all that stuff that, that comes in and can come around you and rise above it. Six of Swords, using science and using the energies to float away from that stuff in your boat, right? It's kind of like if you if you can't beat the bullies, you just outsmart them. It's way easier, all right? So you're in a powerful place here and your words are being used very wisely. You're like, 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 like you're unlocking more of your brain. Like it's like the movie Limitless coming in where like you go from just using this 10 percent to all of a sudden you're up in like 20s 30 percent you're getting smart i'm seeing threes too coming on this with the three of wands aries energy here so you've been working very hard on yourself to manifest this one here and the names isaac and elizabeth lizzie lizzie mcguire lisa or matthew or mark may resonate to you guys too all right you still love them don't you you still love them all right, oh, that's adorable. I just want to give you a hug for that. All right, give me clarifiers on the star card to the moon card to the six of swords. Where'd they go, what they do, and why they so quiet? All right, thank you, Spirit. Appreciate you. All right, let's do it. Give me everything you got, Spirit. Let's go. Boom. Eight of Wands, they want to talk to you. The silence is driving them freaking crazy. I just pulled that right out of there. Eight of Wands to the six of Wands. You're right, Archer. Keep going. The three of swords, their ego death is is epic that they they went through a dark night of the soul that you could write a new york times best-selling freaking novel make a tv series and a movie book out of it on eight of wands the six of swords six of wands why do i keep crossing the six of swords with the six of wands fire and air Ooh, that's making a strong sword energy out of that one all right six is caitlin petty on repeat two on the moon card they see victory with you and everything they've worked so hard to this one here to come through it and to rise above it like they're they're awoke to your connection with three of swords that's what that's what caused it. That's what did it. Six of Cups. Six, six, six to the hanged man. To the five of cups to the ace of swords. There's your ace of swords down here with them. Ace of swords. The outcome is that you guys will talk because it, it, like you both worry about missing out on something. You feel like you missed the boat with the five of cups. Scorpio and Pisces energy. See, it's like you guys on their side, they kind of feel like everything's right and ready. But it's like it's like speak now or forever hold your peace on this one to ride through it on this one here. And I'm seeing the TV show Working Moms on Netflix. That could be something I'm seeing out of here. Like, like they're wanting to make everything work out right on this one here. They want like the work life to work out, six of wands, the home life to work out, six of cups, and the energies to flow, work life and love. Hey man. Pisces, strong Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra energy. So they're 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 bouncing out about communications and getting a lot of deeper knowledges and strengths. Page of Swords, and they're totally freaking watching you. They're doing a lot of research. They're doing a lot of learning. I they got a lot of Google tabs open. They're they're checking into everything about connections and soulmates and twin flames. More soulmate than twin flame on this one because we already got six of cups showing. Haven't seen a four of wands yet. So I'm going more towards a deep soulmate connection. And we have a lot of soulmates in our lives. But with this page of swords, they're being awoke to the fact that you guys are something completely different. All right. Eight of pentacles. Eight eight shows up too, which is Leo season on this too. Or I'm talking to someone that works with portals. Maybe they do. Possibly. All right. The outcome on this one here. Maybe there's kids involved too. It's seen like working moms, like Brady Bunch style, where it's a coming together. And maybe even you're worried or they're worried that like, well, the other person's kids won't like me or something to that effect here. I don't get that because on this page of source of the five of cups, it's 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 the, the, they're afraid that that it wouldn't work out on your side. But with the six of cups, they love kids. And like I'm seeing that like you got you you actually really love that about them, that they're younger, that they're a little more fun, or when they're in good frames of minds, they're really nice and really fun right they're, they're like a big kid and you like that and that page of swords to the ace of swords page of cups you do like it fourth officer box hole shows up on here the one that saw the iceberg first they give off a young fun place of love cancer energy that you just kind of find the door about them and you guys page of swords to the page of cups you guys have your own unique way of communicating like like bantering with each other that like anybody else would be like oh my god what are you guys doing picking on each other like that 
but you two totally get it. You guys have the most quirky, unique inside jokes that you get, all right? And like to people that don't get that, you guys are just like, don't call us, we'll call you, <laughs> right? You know? All right, so give me something on the outcome here because you guys are off in your own little world. Goober energy, totally. All right, let's see. How do we come together and make some dream work on this one here? Let's go for it. Give me some of the outcome, the lovers, because you guys obviously chose each other. All right, it's all cool. It's love, Gemini energy. Literally right here. To the world card, you guys freaking choose each other. And the outcome is when you make that choice and stick with it, the third time's the charm, and you guys go off and freaking rule the world like on this one here or something like Pinky and the Brain energy. <laughs> Pinky and the Brain, oh my God. I haven't seen that one in... I haven't seen that one in a long time, but I'm right because the five of wands is right here. Five of wands squared. Check this out. You guys have made each other an equal priority and you come together through all the strifes and the struggles. Look, I'm actually picking up both these decks for you right now, Taurus, to, for teamwork to make the dream work on the same even exchange here. You guys, you guys get it. Angel number five, five comes in. A lot of repeating numbers and the energy is too right now. So you make each other an equal priority in this one here. You don't have to doubt the connection. Five of pentacles, ten of swords, nine of wands. Knight of Swords, and the Four of Wands. I just got the spiritual nine volt to the tongue. And it just ran straight down my body, right right down to my legs. Did I not, rewind if you missed this one, because did I not mention in their engine the Six of Cups that it's like, I haven't seen the Four of Wands yet, soulmate, etc. It's a deep soulmate twin flame connection. You guys share each other's passion. You guys, your energies drive each other. I freaking, twice now, Leo, energy, and Aries energy, twice now. We have manifested the cards as they come out. This is cool. I have done a lot of predictions with you. I predicted the Titanic sub-implosion with you too. That, and I've got the Titanic deck back out. Well, okay, so you're feeling that the pressure is on and it's go time. But that four of wands is the wish being granted. So it's the pressures being relieved and the pressure's off. You guys get to keep your private lives private, your public lives public, and acknowledging and silencing all those little devil energies around on your shoulders that come up and 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 like just igniting a spark that the rest of the world sees in this one here you embrace each other's doubts each other's quirks and you're protected as you come through it and rise above it because you've put that stuff away and you, like you guys are still in your own little world together having your bougie brunch going on right it was your little quirks with your little 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 fun times here but you support each other through it because you guys get each other even when nobody else in your lives did you knew you guys would pick each other it's what energetically attracted you to each other the moment that you guys met like magnets magnets just like that whoa Okay, this this here is power connection right here. Claim this reading down here. This is amazing. Let's manifest this stuff just like we've been manifesting the cards, right? Leave a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I know it takes a while for me to get back to the comments. I do keep busy, but I am very Knight of Pentacles. I do read, love, like, and, and respond to all of them eventually. It takes me a minute. I keep busy, but I do it. Okay, try to test it in truth. My arrow will get to you. Um, you have got some heavy Leo energy. Cancer's here. You've also got Sagittarius, big old Pisces and Scorpio, Aquarius, heavy duty, um, Scorpio and Aries, if I didn't already mention them, with honorable mentions to, wow, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, um, yeah, I hope this helps, totally. Um, leave a comment, let me know, and um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for being here, Taurus. I really appreciate you. And remember, Taurus, this will resonate to any and all placements of Taurus within your chart, because we're not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, but all the junk in the trunk, too. For all the parts of all our charts. And I'm FHA compliant. I'll read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you got to do is ask. All you got to do is ask. Um, and if you'd like to, you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Email me at archerastrology at gmail.com for a personal reading. If I'm talking too fast, all the stuff's down in the, in the link in the description, the comment. It's the usual YouTube stuff. I love you for it too. All right. Taurus, thank you so much for taking time to be here with me and let me read for you today. You took time out of your day, your, your life, your energy to be here with me. I really appreciate you for that unconditionally. I mean it, totally. In spirit, thank you very much for the messages that we got for Taurus today. We're truly grateful for everything that you do for us. I mean it, totally. You're cool. <laughs> Dig it. My spirit guides and I, we got, we're like, we got a thing going on, Ms. Jones stuff. We get it. We love each other. It's cool stuff. All right. Till next time, Taurus, I'll see you then. All right make it the best one yet you totally got this namaste peace and love all right you're out yeah cherry bye